Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's review time. I'm Grim from the Bug Out Boys, and the piece of gear that I'm going to be reviewing today is going to be ITS Tacticals Fat Boy Pouch and the trauma kit that goes inside of it. So I want to bring you in closer so we can give this piece of gear a thorough look over. Now that I have you in close, as always, there will be a link in the description to ITS Tactical's website so you can check out all the technical specs of the Fat Boy Pouch as well as the Trauma Kit. And while there, uh, check out their other products. They also have an abundance of information and some pretty great videos as well. A couple caveats. One is that this patch does not come with the pouch. No, this one does actually, uh, but neither does this side piece right here I, that I've malice clipped in. It just, it took me a while to malice clip this in and I didn't feel like taking it off for the review. So please forgive me for that. But now let's talk about the positives of the pouch and the trauma kit. And the first one is going to be, it's very well built. I've had this for a very long time. There is no rips, no fraying of seams or fabric. Zippers are holding strong, Velcro is still holding strong. Uh, it's, it's just very well built. The size of it also is very nice for me. If you've seen the Bug Out Boy videos, you will know that this lives on my hip, pal, uh, hip belt on my Bug Out bag, and I've never really like bumped into it or gotten in the way. But when I needed it, and this goes in the second positive, is the design, if I can do this justice, is... Boom. It opens up and your trauma kit is right there before you. And I think that is a really nice design. This would be hanging and nothing is coming out when I opened it up. And I like that for a multitude of reasons. One, I can take a really quick inventory if I'm back home, if I need to replace anything. Or more importantly, when you are in that uh, dire situation, you can grab whatever you need. You can see it very quickly. Great design. Another positive, I don't know if you can see it, a little flag there. This is designed and manufactured in the United States of America, and that is always a big positive for me. So pouch, lots of positives, design. It's easy to use, easy deployment. Even this little guy right here, this little red Velcro on the handles, you know, kind of giving you an idea, that is your medical pouch. But if you felt that you decide to repurpose it, you can just take it off. Or if you feel that that's gonna to be too obvious, again, it's, it's an option that you have and I thought it was a great idea. So let's talk about the trauma kit now that I got this sucker open. A couple caveats here. This are not included, nor is this little guy in there or these. We'll get to that later. But positives. This trauma kit is made for this pouch. As you can see, this ace wrap fits perfectly between these zippers because it was meant for it. Everything fits. And actually, when you buy this trauma kit for the Fat Boy, it comes in one giant sealed uh, plastic pouch that goes in this pocket. So you don't have to spread it out like this. But I chose to unwrap it so I could see everything. And as you can see, everything is individually wrapped so it stays sterile. So that's just a great design there with the trauma kit. The other thing about the trauma kit that I really enjoy is that it's well thought of. You have your combat gauze, you have your ace wrap, you have your Israeli bandage, they even provide gloves. But the thing that I stuck out to me, besides all of these, was the needle decompression for attention pneumothorax. If you know how to use this, this is a lifesaver, and not a lot of kits come with it. It also has this nasal pharyngeal for people who know how to use that as well. So if you sealing up the throat, gets it gets you an airway through the nose. Awesome. It's well thought out. Uh, has a lot of things in here that you can use to save your own life or somebody else's. 
Now for the negatives. First negative is going to be even though this is a very well thought out trauma kit, you're still going to want to add some things. As you can see, I have my hemostats, I have more bandages, I have this little scalpel that has a nice razor sharp of exacto blade. It's from Corecraft there, but that just clips in there, stays out of the way. You're going to want to add some things, but because it has this massive nice pocket and these side pockets, you can add things to it as you can see easily. The hemostats are in there. You could actually put a full length scalpel in there if you so desired. Those go in there. There's a, and I still have room to fit a few more things in there as you can see. Another negative is going to be the price. For the pouch and this trauma kit, it's gonna run you just around $200, give or take, maybe a little under, a little over, basically around $200. And that is a good chunk of money to spend on something that you, you hope you really never have to use, but at the same point, can you put a price on saving your own life or saving someone else's? You make that call, but the pouch itself is roughly around like 65 and then the trauma kit obviously adds on that other roughly 140. But you can buy them separately or together. I opted together, just one big shabam and done. And that's what I think of ITS Tactical's Fat Boy Pouch and Trauma Kit. Luckily, or I should say fortunately, I haven't had to use some of the big guns in the pouch, but as you've seen in lots of my bug out videos, I have used it in first aid situations already, and it's always been there and it's taken care of me. So if you enjoyed this review, please subscribe because there's gonna be more reviews, bots, pioneer preps, talk in the woods, and bug out boy episodes along the way. And please do us a favor, check out the Patreon link that's gonna be popping up in the corner. Go to it, check it out. Any support that you can give is greatly appreciated. And if any questions or comments about the ITS Tactical Fat Boy Pouch and Kit, leave those down below in the comment section because I love to read them and you know I'll get back to you. So till then, take care.